Hi everyone. Today we are going to be looking at the order by clause in Postgres as part of the series that we have been working on. Okay. Order by helps you to sort your query results. Take note of one thing. When you run your query normally, by default, it is not in any particular order. Okay. The columns are not in any particular order. Also, if you and I run the same query on the same database, but of course, we are using different computers, we are running at different times, the way the data is going to be displayed, usually it's random. It could be different. That means that your own first row might be my own 10th row. 10th row. My own 20th row might be your own third row. Okay. That is random by default. However, there are times that you might want to sort your query result based on some condition, basically based on a particular column rather. There are times you might want to order your query result based on a particular column or based on multiple columns. You might want to order by uh, say in ascending order or in descending order. Okay. So the order by apps to show or specifies the order in which your query results are displayed. Okay. Let us quickly take some examples right here. So if I have select, if I say select star from film table, remember we are still using uh, our uh, Let's say from payment table. We are still using our DVD rental database uh, table. Okay. So if I say select star from payments, remember this is still part of our DVD rental database. So we are still using that. So if you look at this, if you take a look at the amount column, you can see right here that this amount column is not in any particular order. This is $7.99, $1.99, $7.99, $2.99 right it is not in any particular order okay if you also look at this payment date this also is not in any particular order because if you look at this this is february 15 february 16 february 19 february 20 this is february 17 you can see this is february 20 so it is not in any particular order you can see this is february 15 also again when i scroll down okay so it is not in any particular order but if you want to order, let's say you want to order this table, this output that you have right here, you want to order by amount column, right? What do you do? So what you can do right here, you can come right here after this statement. Take note, your order, your order by statement is always the last statement, okay? Let me spell that very well. If I say order by, now i want to order by what column by the amount column take note guys i said select star meaning select all the columns from the payment table order by amount the order by needs to always be the last thing the last statement okay now i want to order by amount if i click if i execute what happens very good you can see that that has run you can see that the amount now it is now ordered this is from zero take note when you say order by and you don't put anything in front you did not if you did not specify if it is ascending or descending by default it does it does ascending okay by default it it shows you from the smallest or from the lowest to the highest that's why you see that it start from zero you see you see something right here from zero let me go back up from zero then it starts showing zero you see zero this is zero the last zero then 099 zero, 099 zero, 099 zero, it has rearranged the table for you it has ordered or sort the table using this amount color if i keep going down 099 you can see 099 at some point we should see something that is above 099 let's see if we can get there guys okay you can see now i see i see now i see 199 i believe yes now i see 190 okay you see 099 then 198 that's one dollar 98 cents 
then 199 then that keeps going down you can see that i can also i can also specify ascending if you want to specify ascending you use this keyword asc this is still going to give you the same thing if you run it it's still going to give you the same thing like i said that if you don't put ascending asc it's going to sort ascending right if you put asc it's still going to sort ascending that's the same but if you want to sort descending you have to use the keyword desc and that is descending that means that it's going to be from the highest to the lowest but remember also that we are sorting or we are ordering by the amount column it is with this amount column that is going to reorder this table for me you can see right here that this payment id here is 31970 31970 and it is for the amount zero right if i reorder this right now using this descending order let's see what we are going to have take note here we have 31970 let me execute very good you see now guys that my amount now is starting from the highest which is 11.99 and you can see now that this payment id has changed right now this payment id is for this amount right here is for the so that means this now has rearranged has sorted this table for me in descending order using it has it, it has sorted this table using this amount column for me in descending order do you guys understand that right now okay you can see that this is pretty easy if i remove this descending keyword and then i run it it's going to sort it in ascending order okay because that's by default and i could also use the keyword asc which is ascending order if i use desc it's going to sort in descending order now another a question that somebody might ask is this since i have level 99 level 99 level 99 up to this 10th up to this eighth row up to this eighth row right you can see that the, these are ties level 99 up to this eighth rows what about if i want to break this tie using this payment date if you look at this payment date this is March 21, April 6th, April 29th, March 22, April 7th, March 23. You can see that right there. That this payment date is not in any order. Right? That tells you that I can also break the ties of this level 99 using this payment date. That means I can use amount as my primary ordering column. And then I can use payment date as my secondary ordering column how do i do that you're gonna put a since you want to use two columns right now put a comma here okay and then you can then say oh you know you have order by amount that's descending order then now you're gonna say order by you're gonna put this the other column you want to order by okay you don't have to put the you don't need to put the the order by statement anymore we've already said order by okay now you are saying order by this amount in descending order then order by payment dates i could also do this in descending order remember if i don't put descending it's going to do that for me in ascending by default but i want to do descending because i want to see i want to see it from the most recent dates okay take note i want to see from the most recent date. that means i want to order by amount in descending order and then if there is any tie i am saying then order it by the payment date also in descending order okay let us execute that guys very good this has run right now if you take a look at this right now you will see that even the payment id that has changed if you take a look at that right because it has it has rearranged what we are displaying it has rearranged the query result that we are displaying right here okay now you can see that the payment date is april 29th right now you can see that the amount is still in descending order because we specify that order it by descending order for me however if there is any tie right break the tie or if there is any tie if there is any tie arrange them in descending order of the payment date that is why if you look at this right here level 99 is april 29 april 7th april 6th april march 23 march 22 march 21 march 21 march 2nd you can see that 
on this right here this is march 2nd that is the end of the level 99 and then when we get to 1099 you can see 1099 1099 1099 and then what did they also do and then uh this is row nine let me do it so you guys can see it very well uh you can see that this is row uh row nine right this is 1099 it it also started back from what april 30th because remember you're doing it uh you are doing, your secondary ordering is payment date so you have april 30th april 30th april 30th april 30th april so it keeps going up because all these are ties you see that after april 30th right here right it went to april 29 i hope you guys get that right now so if you are ordering right you gonna order by a primary column if you decide you want to use you want to order with, using multiple columns then you are going to have a secondary column okay to help you to break the ties i hope you understand that right now and you know this is really useful let's say you have uh you want you want to do some uh some analysis and you want to take a look at the most recent you know amount that you are you, you, your store has collected for uh for the films that have been rented right so in this case you can just order because if you don't order it then you won't be able to know that means you have to be scrolling and scrolling and be looking for for the most recent date but in the case of this what do you need to do just write an sql statement and order by the amount so that descending you can see the is if that's what you want and then by the payment date but if you are not really interested in the amount you only you only want to order by the payment date from you want to see from the most recent i can decide to take this out i can decide to only order by payment date what i did was just to copy and paste that right there i can say pay, i want to see the most recent payment right here if i execute good you can see now again guys that the amount column now is not in any order anymore none of this is in any order anymore the only thing that is in order is the payment date because i wanted to see the i wanted to see the transactions by the payment date in descending on that that means from the most recent the most recent payment that was made was made in the amount of 499 i hope you guys get the idea right now that is how you are going to be using the order by statement guys all right guys if you are new on this channel i will encourage you to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell to get notified whenever we release any of our videos also comment in the section below if you have any question or if you have any topic that you would like us to to cover for you okay all right guys i'll see you in the next class bye